Okay, this is the Ruger LCP 380. Okay, this is the Keltec. P3AT380. Okay, this is the Keltec P3AT versus the Ruger LCP review. And if anybody was counting on the shooting scene just before this, you would have already counted that uh, we got one more shot from the Keltec than we did from the Ruger. Uh, I'll explain why here in just a minute. Uh, both these guns are great little guns. Uh, they're virtually identical. There is hardly any difference at all internally. There are a couple differences with the features. Uh, the Keltec, I believe it came out first. Uh, it has one option that the Ruger does not have and that is this little magazine extension. It is a plus one extension. It gets you one more round. So if you carry one in the chamber, you have a total of eight rounds. That, from what I understand, is not available with the Ruger. Uh, whenever you take these guns apart, there's nothing in there. Uh, they're pretty simple to take apart. Pop the pin out. slide comes right off. Lay that up here. It's the same with the Ruger. Empty. The Ruger is a little bit easier to get something in there. As you can see, looking at these two guns, they're virtually identical. Slight difference in the machining uh, as far as the parts and pieces. Let's take a look. virtually identical. Both these guns perform very well. They're more accurate than anyone would think uh, a little pocket gun could be. Uh, as you saw from, from the video, the, uh, the steel target that I was shooting at, I'm sorry you can't see it in the video. Uh, I didn't have a camera person there with me. Uh, it was a 10 by 10 plate at about 20 yards. Uh, I didn't do bad whenever I shot it. You can you can hear the steel ring several times there. That's a greater distance than these little guns were ever intended to be used at. Uh, but they work. Uh, they're reasonably accurate. They uh, they're simple. They're easy to hide. easy to put back together <laughs> very simple 
Now I'll show you some of the other features and the uh, the Ruger may win out on some of these other features. Okay, now one of the features that Ruger incorporated into uh, this gun that Caltech did not. They incorporated a slide stop feature. It's right here. It will not hold the slide back after the last round is fired. Uh, I guess that was too much to ask for. I don't know. But it is kind of a nice little feature if you want to lock it back yourself. The Keltec, that option is not available. Uh, either way, they're both great little guns. They're easy to hide, they're accurate, and most of all they are dependable. Either one that you choose, whether you prefer one that has a slide stop or you prefer one that has an extra round available. Gets you eight rounds instead of seven. Either one, there are many holsters available for both of them. They, uh, they're just great little guns. So, I don't think you could, could go wrong with either one. So, check them out and uh, see what you think. They make a great backup gun. They make a great summertime concealed carry gun. Both very popular, both very dependable. So, thank you very much for watching. Okay, this is the Ruger LCP 380. Okay, this is the Caltech P3AT 380.